So what we gonna do right here is play Corrupt's interview from the Breakfast Club talking about how Inspector Dex verse got removed. And then we're also gonna play a video of Daz Dillinger explaining how Inspector Dex verse got removed. Then we're gonna play Tupac's verse and then we're gonna play Inspector Dex verse. I guess we could get on some hip hop stuff right here and just see who actually had the better verse. But right now, let's check out these videos. We give it to Pop. Inspector Deck is on the original. Oh, yeah, at the end, it says I ain't the rebel. And then cuts I ain't off. the rebel. Yeah. Turn my states to pebble. Mental terrorist specialist at this. Menacing lyricist leaves crews defenseless. Why y'all cut him off the record? Oh, man, Tupac was on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I understand. Beat is over. Okay, just just take him off. Damn it, Wait, man. but it sound tight, Pac. I mean, I don't want to hear all that tight stuff, man. Get Take that off. <laughs> <laughs> so Daz kind of threw a little slickness on him and took him off, but he, he kept his backgrounds. Yeah. Sis, this, this. Sis, fence, this. Fuck, Daz was like, man, we're going to keep some of this stuff. Wow. It's tight, man. Give it up for the inspector. Hey, you know what I'm saying? saying? Hawk didn't hear it until the record was out. Mm. He ain't noticed none of that at the end. So he didn't care. Mm -mm. He's just being mean. All right, so you just heard what Corrupt said. Now, let's play the Daz Dillinger video. On that song, I got my mind made up. Mm -hmm. Initially, it had what is it? Red Method Red Rage, Inspector Dick, Method Man, Red Man, Man Corrupt. Well, I think they had Inspector Dick vocals in there a little bit because it was a dance. It was probably it was three a dance. And I know that I put the beat on one. And in the second tape, it had all our vocals on there. Now the third tape, I must have had Inspector Deck on there, but they didn't have the third tape. That's why you only heard his background. The real story of the song is I took the tape up to Dr. Dre House. It was ADAX. So he had the machine to run it off on the big reels. So I left it up there, and then Dr. Dre heard it. Then Tupac came and he said he got a song with Tupac. I mean, he got a song with Method Man and Red Man in there. You know what I'm saying? And Pac didn't know that I did the beat because Dre said he did the beat. Then when they came playing it, I'm like, nigga, that's my shit. You know what I'm saying? That's when Tupac, like Dre, got into a little, you know, all that type <laughs> right. of shit. And then um, on that part with respect to Dick, like I said before, the third A that tape was missing. I don't know if the engineers didn't transfer the shit, but they just heard the beat, Method Man, the Red Man, and all that shit. They didn't even think about the, the other one, you know what I'm saying? So, really, that's how that one kicked off. So, you clearly heard Daz in the video saying that Tupac came to him saying that he got a song with Red and Meth. You clearly heard Daz talking about the ADAT. They had the vocals on the ADAT. You clearly heard Daz saying that Tupac and Dr. Dre got into a altercation, a verbal altercation. You clearly heard Daz saying like, when he went to go lay it down, he only had the ad libs of Inspector Dex verse. So something must have happened with the other one. But he definitely didn't say what Corrupt said. Corrupt and Daz are basically brothers. But they got two different sides of the story. So there's Corrupt story, there's Daz story, and then there's the truth. So based on the truth with us i guess it comes down to preference if you hate tupac then the chances are you might feel corrupt was telling the truth if you got love for pop you might feel daz is telling the truth the only reason i do got love for pop but the only reason why i'm going with daz is because he's the producer of the song nevertheless it's still a bad narrative to put out there about tupac 
You know what I mean? If you saying Tupac was being mean or Tupac was angry, he was going through a lot of things. You know, maybe he just wasn't in the right headspace. But over two tech, but over two decades later, to talk about Tupac was hating and all this other stuff, and knowing how people are just discrediting his legacy, trying to destroy his character and whatever else for whatever reason, I would feel like information like this doesn't really need to get out there. It's unnecessary. But being that it's out there, it's up for the individual to decide whether you believe corrupt or whether you believe Daz. It's easy to believe corrupt is because Tupac is the type of individual to blow up on you. He is the type to spaz, to spaz out. He sounds like the type to say, man, take that shit off. You see, he even stepped to Dr. Dre because... The beat wasn't produced by Dr. Dre. It was actually produced by Daz. So they have an altercation about this song. So you really think during this altercation and all this other stuff, Tupac actually went back into the studio and said, yo, make sure you take that nigga deck verse off. That just don't make sense to me. So why did he his name INS the Rebel at the end of a Tupac song? Yeah. On my mind's made up on the All Eyes on Me album. Tupac, Method Man, Red Man. He said, why did they leave his first off the song but only left his left saying his name? Were you supposed to be on that song? <laughs> yeah, man. I was supposed to be on that song. I heard I heard Pac was hating, man. Rest in peace, you know. Really? Yeah, I heard he came home, you know, came home from death row, heard the song, and then, and, you know. So mandatory, my elevation, my lyrics like orientation So you can be more familiar with the nigga you facing We must be patient, nothing better than communication Know the damage and highly flammable like gas stations Sorry, I left that ass waiting No more procrastination, give up the faith And get that ass shaking I'm busting and making motherfuckers panic Don't take your life for granted, put that ass in the dirt You swear the bitch was planted My lyrics motivate the planet It's similar to information, but dubbed out Forgive me, Janet, who's in control? I'm activating your soul, you know the way the game's so, yo, two years ago, a friend of mine told me Alice and Crystal blows your mind. Bear witness to the dopest fucking rhyme I blow. Taking off my coat, clearing my throat. Pac went in on that verse. So, so mandatory, my elevation. elevation. My lyrics like orientation, so you can be more familiar with the nigga you're facing. Don't take your life for granted. I put that ass in the dirt. You swear that bitch was planted. Let's get in the deck verse. I set the bike in flames. My name's INS the Rebel. Murder one style, smash my states to pebbles. Mental terrorist, specialist at this. Menacing, live assist, sleep fools, the bitch list. Hand design, and minds, lick off like nines. The paralyzed, everything is ring like door chimes. Men start to turn like police who pass. Hit a blast, my crew was through like tear gas. Fuck a mask, we lace to place like the marshals. Sparkle like diamonds, but harmless let's call you. Reckless rhymes start relentless. Fuck and fuck up the party for you paying motherfuckers One sock commence for your ladies and gents I kick rhyme, sharper than broad wide fence The lava direct from killer hell projects That and out of New York, you can't help but the hall Play it on your gentle, that's if you want it hostile Sounds on the ground, I write my rhymes on fossils Tools like this force me to get you open Lyrically wet you up until you're soaking That was a dope verse Now it's basically up to you Which one you prefer? I think that was a uh, that was a good verse by Inspector Deck. I honestly don't think it was enough for Tupac to hate on. It just it just don't make sense, man. Because what about Red and Meth? Red and Meth is just as easily as nice as, as Inspector Deck, if not better. If not better. We don't want to. We need. Do we need to talk about Red Man's catalog? Do we need to talk about Muddy Waters? Do we need to talk about Method Man's features, his verses? In my opinion, Meth ain't never had a an album that I consider classic, but he got classic verses. He got classic songs. I just don't feel Meth ever had a classic album. That's what I'm still waiting on. His debut album was there. Some people consider it a classic. I don't. I never did. I never did. Bring the Pain is an ultimate classic, but nevertheless, I'm digressing. So which verse do you choose between Tupac and Inspector Deck? 
do you think Inspector Deck's verse was enough for Tupac to hate on? Mind you, Tupac rhymed, made songs with Heavy D, Grand Pooba, Biggie Smalls, Big Daddy Kane, Spice One, Richie Rich, who was also nice. Do you really believe that Tupac would actually hate on Inspector Deck? Or, or do you feel Tupac said like, yo, that shit is too long, take it off? Or do you believe Daz?